Okay, so we're at the uh, the next location. This is uh, where uh, the next location used to stand because, as you can tell, it no longer does. So, so Dave, what was here? This was where the uh, middle school was. Okay. Uh, uh, this was uh, I taught here for three years. Um, the last three years that we lived in town, and it was uh, it was an old school that had been a high school at one time as a matter of fact it was where i played basketball when i was at okay. high okay okay uh, so that was kind of a an interesting thing for me when when i came and taught here i taught ninth grade uh american history yeah and seventh grade social or seventh grade uh geography and uh, then i was I was a girls basketball coach, eighth grade girls basketball coach one year. That was interesting. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember that I coached uh, any boys teams here. I, I, I coached the freshman boys at the high school. Uh, we played at the high school. Yeah. Most all of our games were at the high school. So, yeah. Anywho. All right. Do you know when this was uh, knocked down? I do not. Okay. Clearly, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. yeah. If, if you know what the middle school and the table is like, yeah. very similar. Okay. Probably the same, about the same age, I would guess. Okay. 1920s, okay. 1930s, it probably was built. So okay. It had seen its day, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, and while we were driving over here, you were telling me uh, a story that I think you should uh, share about uh, your assistant basketball coach yeah he was uh, this was he lived he, just down the this road this was at st patrick's okay um his son was playing and uh so his dad jim uh, was my assistant and uh he all his occupation was a, a catering uh, he ran a catering business and he, he i mean he catered here all the way over into South Dakota, Nebraska. Wow. Uh, the guy was well known. He was known as the Turkey King. <laughs> the Turkey uh, King, he, okay. Well, he did a great job. He had, I mean, he had this monster oven that he made turkeys in, and it was good. <laughs> um, he actually hired me uh, to work with them uh, as, as part of the catering crew, and it was always kind of fun because when we got done, came back home we always had leftover food yeah never wanted to run out of the catering <laughs> uh, person so we always had food and we divided up when we got home and <laughs> had free food that's awesome that's awesome uh so what's this building over here that is one of the uh, 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 reformed churches okay couldn't tell you which report yeah. it is anymore, but okay. it is one of the reformed churches. Here All right, now. interesting. Cool. All right, anything else uh, you remember from uh, this middle school you want to share? Right. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay. Because one of the one of the interesting things that we did, uh, uh, this was with our ninth grade history class, we would do a a, a joint unit. Uh, when when I was teaching. The Revolutionary War, and when I was teaching the Civil War, we would have a combined unit with all the other teachers. So the science, the math, uh, the English, and even the home ec classes got involved with that. And in particular, I remember the the uh, Civil War when we did when we did that unit. Um, the kids had to had to make as part of their uh, home ec project. They had to uh, make them uh, uh, had to make use a recipe from Civil War time okay. and make that food. And one of the to me anyway was very interesting and unique was that one of them was a rabbit stew. Oh. And uh, some of the kids actually went out and got a rabbit. And, <laughs> Did whatever they did to it, and we had rabbit stew. It was good. It was very good. It, it was just—I mean, we had. Uh, 
couldn't tell you how many, I'm going to say at least 90 kids in our class. So we had 90 different recipes of wow. Civil War food. Some of them were, were the same, but, yeah. you know, lots of lots and lots of, of Civil War kind of food. That yeah. was pretty cool, I thought. That is cool. That is very cool, yeah. All righty. That'd be about it. Okay. Well, uh, we'll see you at the next location.